please. My name is Crystal. I'm doing past, present, and um, future reading for you guys. Um, this is a general reading, so take whatever resonates for you and leave the rest for somebody else. If it doesn't resonate, it's okay. You know, if the whole thing doesn't make sense for you. Maybe somebody else just needed to hear them. Okay, so for your past with the Ten of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups, I feel like there was an ending of some type of stressful time in the near past, okay? Um, the end of betrayal, the end of stress, overworking, overstressing, depression, sadness, betrayal, backstabbing, it's the end of that, okay? The ending of something and the beginning of something that, the ending of something hard and the Good beginning dream. of something better. The Ace of Cups is, you know, you being able to live out your dreams, okay? This is um, your cup overfilling with like abundance, happiness, joy, love, money, okay? For the past, I feel like whatever has ended has brought a lot of happiness towards your life, okay? Whatever ended, and the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like you're also focusing on your money, on your goals, on your um, situation. You could have also been dealing with a, a earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or a Virgo uh, in your past situation. But I feel like if you were, I feel like that whatever that was is kind of over for you guys. Uh, navigating the stars, follow your bliss. Yeah, you were following your heart. You were following your intuition and doing what you really wanted to do. You're feeling, you're feeling called to something better. Okay, I feel like you, you've dealt with this for a long time. You got the ten, so it's like you kind of did everything that you had to do, right? And it just didn't work out. So you kind of moved on and did what you had to do. For your current situation, you got the Queen of Cups, the Seven of Wands, and the Lovers. Okay, so um, let me just lay this out. Find the sanctuary, opening up to your spiritual source, listening to your intuition, learning more about your spiritual abilities, uh, opening more spiritual abilities, learning more or new things um, for yourself. Uh, the Queen of Cups, you might be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. If not, this is just telling me that maybe you're like emotionally closed off from this person or situation. Um, that wasn't working out for you. You kind of like uh, cut that off. Then you have the Seven of Wands, which is standing up for yourself. Um, this is also a spiritual number, seven, okay? So I feel like there's a lot of spiritual um, in this reading. I can't think. Okay, and then you also may be dealing with the Gemini, okay? So I feel like you're, you're putting, you have your guards up when it comes to love, okay? Maybe you feel like everybody else is going to betray you like the other person did or other people have done in your past situations. Could be family, friends, relationships. It doesn't have to be love relationships, right? But, you know, you can love friends and family just as much. But I feel like you have your guards up a little bit because of people always using you, taking your kindness for um, your weakness, you know what I mean? So now you're finally standing up for yourself, okay? You may have also been dealing with a lot of unpredictable things, all right? So, but I feel like with the lover's card, this can just be telling you that, you know, there might be a new love coming in for you or something that you love um, is going to be popping up for you soon in your current situation. Maybe you're doing something that you love, okay, if it is another person. Um, for the future, you have you from above, get the... Get the big picture, okay? So whatever you're wanting to do, whatever you're working towards, imagine that and ten times bigger, all right? Always imagine something bigger than what you want, okay? Aim high. The Two of Cups, there's a new love offer coming in for you or a new job offer, a new apartment, some type of offer um, coming in for you, okay? Uh, the Queen of Swords, I feel like this is going to help you be clear on um, what you want or at least see clearer now um, through whatever situations that you were going through. I feel like now it's a lot more easier for you to um, listen to your intuition and kind of keep people out of your life that you don't really need in your life and just, just keep on pushing forward, alright? This um, Two of Cups, this also might help you um, really be able to see um, if this Two of Cups is worth it. <laughs> Let's see. The King of Cups, okay. So, in the future, you know, a Cancerian might be popping up for you, or an air sign might be popping up for you, but I feel like, you know, there's a lot of balance also coming in for you in your future. And the Ten of Wands tells me it's just the end of all burdens. So you get to end of backstabbing, betrayal, overstressing, overworking, okay? So it's like you got the ends of all this. So I feel like there's definitely a new beginning coming in, okay? Tens add up to one, one plus zero is one, so there's definitely a new beginning coming in for you. Actions and advice, base pentacles, focus on your goals, focus on your money, on this new start. Okay, there is a new start coming. I told you I felt that. And 
Eight of Swords. Don't allow yourself to stay trapped, okay? When you leave, leave and leave it behind. Don't let it follow you and drag it along with you throughout everything else that you're about to go through, okay? Just leave the stress, anxieties and worries and everything else behind that. Everybody is going to do the same exact thing to you, okay? So, one more card. Page of Wands, there might be coming a new message in for you, a new love message, a new message regarding something that's going to make you very happy. But this is also talking about, you know, list, you know, finding new sparks, new inches, or, or lighting that spark again, okay? Finding your um, passion. So go for what you want, okay? Go for what you're passionate for. But that's what I got for you guys. If you guys like my content, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Toodles.